We're going to teach you how to put together a lower. We're going to go fast, so if you learn fast, this is the video for you. Um, we're going to start off. We've got the whole lower parts kit. We've got the tools we need. First step, I'm going to start up front here. I'm going to add the weaker spring. There's three springs that look similar in length. Both the weaker ones are for the detents here. Here I'm going to grab the needle nose pliers, this little piece, push it in here. Use a flat punch to hold it all the way in. I'm going to have, I've got an extra one of these long ones, put it in from the other side. That's going to hold it in right there. And I'm assuming you do it right, you want to grab it with this one so it stays in as you're pushing it back through. That avoids the need for a special tool. Once you get it in, make sure you can pop it back out. Push it in, it works, it locks. That piece is done. I'm gonna rotate the safe around. Next up, I like to put together the fire control group. Here we got two different springs that are similar again in all your lower parts kits. The one with the flared end, sometimes they're green like this. That flared end goes down inside the trigger here. Push it all the way in like that. Gonna grab your detent spring here, put on top of the detent on top of it. I'm gonna wrap your hammer. This is a JP lightweight trigger spring. It's gonna sit just like that. Orient it. We're gonna set it in there, but we're not gonna do anything with it quite yet. Get it all the way down in there. Then safety selector. Stick that through right here. Make sure you put that in before you pin this, otherwise it might not go in. You want this long piece here facing to the left if you're from the rear of the rifle. So I'm going to push this down. I'm looking through the hole right here to make sure it lines up. And then this is going to come in with the long piece straight, not the line piece, from the opposite direction. Make sure it's lined up. It takes a little finagling and a little practice, but you'll get it. Don't have to force it. If it's not going in, it doesn't work. Next up, we got our hammer. Here's your hammer. Another JP lightweight spring. This is the hammer spring. Wraps around that way, just like that. Then when we put this down in here, we're gonna bend these behind that pin we just put on the trigger. So they're down, push forward. A lot of force is gonna be going that direction. Again, you wanna take this spring with the flat place, put into the, ugh, look into the left, and push it on through. Get it lined up, wiggle it in, you're good. We'll do a functions test on this. So you're gonna push this back, hold this on safe, make sure it doesn't fire. You're gonna to go to fire. Now don't let this come up and hit the aluminum. So you're gonna catch it, should fire. Now push it all the way back down while you're still holding the trigger here. When you let go, it needs to make that clicking noise. Then it's good to go. Next up, since we have that in place to hold this for us, I'm gonna grab the other spring that was similar to that detent spring, but doesn't have the flange. That's gonna go in here. I'm going to grab this little piece here. That's going to go with the small side in towards that. Then we're going to grab your bolt catch release. Put that right there. I'm going to look down here and make sure that those holes line up. Doo -doo -doo. And this is going to rel sort of hang, hold it in place, the hammer here. And we've got this molly lithium grease. So we're going to grab your detent pin, we're going to grab roll pin starter, dip it in just a little bit of this molly lithium grease, and I'll be very careful, this is where a lot of the scratching comes into play. When you're pounding it in here, do not scratch your receiver, especially a pretty one like this. We're going to get it started, we're going to wiggle this down until it's loose. Get it up to about there. Don't go too far. It's going to start hitting this back wall. Then I've got 
This is a nail set. Get these at Menards or get that in. And wipe off the grease here. And then finally we're gonna take this, set it in. A little bit past flush there. Don't want it sticking out the other side though. Now we've got your magazine release. Slides in there, the spring goes in the other side. You're gonna hold right here with your finger, put this flash slide up against the threads, push that spring in and start it threading. Do not cross thread it. And don't do it on camera. Oh, come on now. There we go. Then we're going to push that magazine release all the way in using the back side of the roll pin starter. So this comes all the way out to here. Tighten it up until you start feeling resistance. Back it out. Make sure you're happy with how flush it is on the other side. Good to go there. Next up, I'm sticking a mag pull drop down trigger in. So I'm going to flip this whole thing. Orient it properly. First step, set screw goes in on the front. Just pass flush. Next up, large roll pin starter. Trigger guard roll pin. We're gonna get that in molly lithium grease again. Just get a little bit on the starting edge. Be careful of this aluminum tong out there. It is pretty weak. So we're just gonna get it started with the hammer. Then press it. Just wrapped uh, some plastic and some soft tape around there to go up against the back side. Press it in up to flush. Then we're gonna pound it just a little bit more. Again, being gentle, trying to get it recessed to here. There we go. Next up, we've got our ergo trigger, right-handed. Uh, when you take these out, they've got this little lip here, which is great if you're using the A2, but since we're using this mag pull, it takes up extra space over here. So you take a Dremel, you notice I just cut that little lip off real quick. Remove the bottom of it so we can access up into here. We're gonna grab the, uh, there's only one of these in your lower parts kit. Grab that piece, drop it right into here. Make sure that your safety selector is in between either fire or safe, dealer's choice. Now we've got Allen screw, spacer, Put it up in here, do the trigger, so it's sticking out the top there. And we're gonna grab the spring. It is the only hard spring. It looks just like your detent springs, except it is hard. So it's the one that's shaped like this, but different than the other two. There are three of these. Stick that in this little hole there. Make sure it doesn't fall out as you're spinning this upside down. You wanna line it up on top of that detent we put in there. Make sure it's not bent. Get this down, get your Allen wrench started. You want it snug. Obviously you're tightening into aluminum, so don't strip it. 
Put the cover back on the bottom here. Flip it. Make sure that moves freely in here. And we're gonna take apart our buffer tube kit. If you're using the Airborne Arms LLC buffer tube kit, it's gonna have a paratrooper engraved onto the back here. You're gonna to wanna to orient that so the flat side above it is up when you're putting it together. Make sure that your castle nut is backed off. This will be oriented the right way. Make sure that little bump is sticking down. We're gonna begin this threading into the back here, but not past the little hole here. Now we gotta take your other takedown pin, come in from the right side if you're facing it from the rear. Put that in. Make sure that the groove is lined up to the rear. We're gonna take your other detent pin, just like on the front, tiny little guy here. That's gonna go in the hole right there. Push that in. Take your last little spring here. We're gonna push it in just to make sure it's pushed all the way in. I'm gonna keep this out for now. Then this will hold your buffer in place, these two. Put the spring in here, drop it into the hole right in the back by this buffer here. I use little nail pin tool to hold that down and then I'm gonna tighten the buffer up so the first time it grabs that and this is still lined up vertically that's where I want to be that's how you want this oriented I'm gonna back this off I'm gonna tighten it just a hair more so that it's off to the side while I put in that final spring that we had that we were pushing in this tiny little hole then I'm gonna back this plate off so that spring is oriented straight. And then using this plate, I'm gonna push it in so it's flush, it's not curved or anything. I'm gonna hold it right up against here. Helps if I look at it, because it's not flush. Back it off. There we are. So once this plate is flush and that spring is pushed in back there, finger tighten your castle nut down. So everything's in there and it's all holding. Check to make sure that this is oriented. You may have to spin it a little bit so it sits in that groove, but it'll lock into place. Comes in and out. Now we're taking our stock. This particular stock, any of them, you usually pull in the reverse direction to get them on. So same with back here, you'll notice the one that's set up with our new trigger. You'd pull down like this to come off. You push up to adjust. That's how most stocks work. This one right here, you're gonna push up here on the Hogue one to adjust it. To get it on, I'm gonna pull down on these two. Start sliding this on, pull it all the way down till it gets started. The reason I'm putting that on now is because I can use that to make sure that this buffer tube orients vertical while I'm tightening this castle nut down. Now I take my torque wrench. I've got my tool here. This is a, actually Bravo Company made this one. I'm sure you can get a number of other ones or a regular armorer's tool. Have it at a right angle so your torque specs read properly. And come onto this castle nut. Be very careful not to scratch up your buffer tube. That's our torque. Take a buffer spring, slide it all the way in. Buffer, again if you're using the paratrooper one, just want that flat side up, paratrooper oriented. All the way in. Now for a functions test, finally. You don't want it to slam up against here. You don't dry fire it whenever there's not an upper on there. got this block. Uh, JP sells these. We can get a hold of them too if you're looking for them. That lets you dry fire. So now what you're going to do, does not work on safety. Go to fire. Does fire. Hold the trigger down. Come back. When you release, 
should pop right back up. Go right back to safe and doesn't work, you're good to go. You gotta lower.